Welcome design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to unwrap and texture the roof of your fantasy cottage. So let's start by unwrapping this. I've hidden everything else. As you can see I just have the roof selected. I'm going to switch to face mode and grab all the faces that are on the same axis and that is the x-axis. Switch to UV editing mode and then turn on the checker map and apply planar projection in the X direction. And get the scale tool and scale the UVs until the squares are square. And I have all four of these polygons. They're all on top of each other. I'm just doing them all at the same time. and then we're going to move them all over here. These are the polygons that are on the edges. I'm not going to worry about them at all. And then let's switch to UV selection mode and we're going to separate all of these. Not sure why some of these don't separate. Oh, it unwrapped all of these as one. But I am going to need to separate these. Um, I don't think they would be good if they were right on top of each other. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to uh, edge mode and grab that edge. Actually, let's do these first. Grab that edge and see which one's the top edge, and it's that edge there. Then I'm going to switch to polygon mode. And I'm going to move this down so that that blue edge is in the middle because they were just basically folded on top of each other. And then we can do the same thing here. Making sure the squares stay square. And it looks like these need to be flipped. I'm going to confirm that by turning this on. Yes, indeed. So we're going to select this one and flip it. There we go. Then I'm just going to take these, these edge ones, and make them really small and just kind of stick them over here in the corner. I'm going to take these and scale them down together so they're about the same size because they both have to fit into this central UV area. And that's about as big as I'm going to be able to get them. And we'll take these and put them back in the template. And then we'll switch to UV selection mode, select all the UVs, and generate the template. It is going into my house's source images folder. And we're going to call this roof. UV. and apply and close. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. I have a sort of a cedar shingle roof here texture that I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna hit Control A to select all. That would be Command A on a Mac. And then copy it by using the keyboard shortcut, Control C or Command V on a Mac. And then we're going to switch to the UV template. And notice I've already copied these two layers and selected this one, and I'm going to paste it in so it comes right in the middle. And then we're going to see how this is going to look. It fits. Um, the question is, does it look right? Now I'm going to switch back to Maya for a second so I can understand that that is the inside. I'm going to put something different on the inside. This is the outside, so that's where I need to put the roof tiles here. And these might be a little big for the house. I don't know. We'll have to see. Then I'm going to copy that layer and flip it. and 
and flip it again. And then for the underside, I've chosen to put some sort of planks on there. And this is a plank texture that I have collected from previously. And it is seamless. So I should be able to just do this and then copy it and put it into place. And it should snap in there. There you go. Copy it one more time. Put this here. And then I'm going to delete the part I don't want by simply grabbing that part of it and deleting it. And then I'm going to take all three of these layers here and right click to merge them. Now they're one layer and I can copy that layer and move it over here to the other side. And of course the last thing we need to do is um, put a background layer in. So I'm going to select that layer, make a new layer, and sample a color from these cedar shingles. And then fill the background layer with color. Final step is to turn these two off and export the image and apply it as a texture. You should be familiar with this process by now. We've done this a million times. And there you go. go inside you can see that on the underside it looks like that with the planks and that also looks like that if you see that part of the roof on the underside so it's a little shiny so I need to change the roughness to one so there you go as you can see it looks pretty good I think the shingles are a little big um, if I were to continue to work on this, I would probably try to find a seamless uh, cedar shake texture so I could make the shingles a little smaller. But I, I think it's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. And in the next video, we're going to do the door and the stairs. And I'll see you then.